Hey everyone, it's Lisa. So today I'm making two cars. Um, I'm using the Santoro Gorgeous Girl and I'm also using Stamping Bella. So this one is the Gorgeous Girl and then the bigger one right here with the gray uh, back piece, um, that's Stamping Bella. That's the Stamping Bella Curvy Girl and um, she is... What is she? She's the maternity one. Um, and right here, these are uh, markers that I got from the Walmart Spark Reviewer Program. They are the Walmart brand Pen and & Gear. And um, there's 48. These are permanent markers. So this is also a review besides from just um, a card making video. So um, I'm just drawing it out to see uh, how the color looks on the paper itself. It's something I do with all of my markers, but the one thing that is, I guess, a con for, um, you know, doing your pros and cons, and one of the cons for um, the Pen and Gear uh, 48 marker kit, permanent marker kit, is that there's no name and there's no number on it. So it makes it very hard to, um, you know, to label it. So if you watch my other videos, I usually have a color chart and, um, you know, that's very easy to do. You just basically take a piece of paper that you normally use for, um, you know, all of your medium, you know, whether it's stamping, drawing, whatever. And then you uh, would just, you know, use the marker on that piece of paper and then you would just label it according to the name or the number that it has but um, with the pen and gear marker kit it didn't have any name for the colors and it didn't have any numbers for the colors so it was impossible for me to label them so that's one thing I didn't like and also there didn't seem to be like a huge variety but um, you know of course it was for free um, but you know e even for free I would give it three stars, three out of five stars, just for the fact that you do get a lot and comes with this really um, nice storage kit to keep everything in place. But other than that, um, there wasn't a whole lot of um, colors that were in the same um, group. So um, that was a little bit difficult. And also it was really hard to um, be able to do a color chart for it because there was no name or number for each of the individual markers. Anyway, so this is me uh, just cutting up some scrap paper, some like really fancy scrap papers that I had from the scrapbook kit. So this right here is the, um, the Stamping Bella one. And, um, you know, I, I wasn't too crazy about uh, the marker. So I actually switch back to my shuttle art markers. I like my shuttle art markers because there's more um, color variety, especially for skin tones and stuff like that. Um, so I had to switch back to my shuttle art markers to do her hair because um, there just wasn't a color that I could choose from the pen and gear one. So, um, you know, I put some sparkles, some glitter, some embellishment. I have a red ribbon rose on it and then I mounted right now this is like a glitter glue that I'm putting on her so you can see how it looks like it's very pretty I like it um, and both of the cards are for grandparents day which actually passed but I forgot about it so this car is going to come late so now it's the gorgeous girl part and I basically did the same thing that I did with um, the Stamping Bella. So here she is. Um, like I said, Pen and Gear, three stars out of five.